All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of PA's Perpetual Testing. Now, this map was named Don't Make a Lemonade, and appears to be using the old portal aperture science facility map set, so let's see how this goes. Oh, and the music. Okay, I'm a, I'm a fan of this song, so the music's fairly nice. Let's see. What does this button do? Okay, it swaps that around. Fair enough. Now, I think these are going to be fairly simple tests to start with. What in the world just happened? Why did the button... I have no idea why it swapped that early, but... And now there's a switch, and I'm very confused already. But I assume I need to go that way. I'm just unable to do so right now. Because I'm going to need to bring something back from this room. What does the button do? Briefly deactivates this emancipation grid. Oh, and something up there briefly deactivates that emancipation. No, permanently disables that emancipation grid. That is something. Or not permanently? No, I guess not. Alright. So I suppose then the question is, how do I get up there? Because that appears to be where cubes come out. Hmm. Well, I could fly if I had somewhere to fly from, but I don't. Oh, but maybe I will find some place to fly from in the next area. So let's just place our blue portal there and... Explore what's out here. Yep, just as I thought. Somewhere to fly. Alright, so we have a cube, and the ability to deactivate the second emancipation grid. So with that, we should be able to bring this... Th oh, damn it. So close. Wait, what happened? It still says it's active, so why... I'm very confused. Hmm. Oh well. So let's just deactivate this first thing. I think I'm going to play the second time through very safe. I'm just going to bring this cube down, place it in the correct location. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, why, why do I struggle so with such simple puzzles? Because I'm pretty sure this, te this uh, map has more than one test chamber. Judging by the size of it that there appeared to be beforehand. Now, I'm going to wait. Yeah, there we go. I'm not being tricked by you again. Okay, put that very carefully right there. Alright. Now. Blue portal there. Orange portal here. Fly through. Deactivate the second emancipation grid, because I don't need to worry about the first. Ah, there we go. Clever. Alright, now, that took me entirely longer than it should have, but on to test chamber two. Oh. Or am I already in the second test chamber? I don't know. Hmm. So I have access to speed gel. And that's it. That's all that this path has given me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I might as well just have it flying in the air there briefly. Why not? Couldn't be a bad thing, really. That is still dispensing, though, right? Yeah, it is. It's just uh, kind of breaking on the actual dispenser. Now, where do I need to go to... Ah, I see. Now, which portal was I using? Uh... Crap, I think it was orange? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Now, how do I get back up? Um... Oh, I think I see. There we are. Good. Excellent. Alright. Now I just need to fly upwards, presumably? 
Oh, if this is gonna have me do what I think it's going to have me do, this is gonna be cool. Um, but don't quote me on that. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button? What in the hell just happened? It's like it teleported me the moment I successfully hit that area. Okay, so I'm assuming there's something to raise this panel. There is. It's got a power... It's got a power nodule on that button there. But how to get there is the question. Oh! Well, flying's going to be part of it. Actually, flying's going to be the entirety of it. Alright, let's go. Through the secret area to the button. And... Oh, I see. Once I activate that laser successfully, that will get me out of here. Really? Oh, I just need to create an orange portal somewhere, though. Here we go. Oh. If future me tries to warn me about this test, don't listen. Fair enough. I never trusted future me anyway. This guy's always blaming me for not getting assignments done. Well, this is both of our fault, buddy. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, did the laser just... Oh, it's activated permanently. The laser just deactivated itself. So next thing, we're going to have to fly again to the area where we were before, since the path is now down. And is that the end of the test? I mean, it has to be, doesn't it? No. Oh my god, it isn't. The elevator isn't the end of the test. The control room is... Oh, I do love myself a big red button. Elevator control. Active. Oh, it's Shell. What the fuck? What? No, you don't just get to do that. Thus the multiverse was created, thanks for playing. What the hell just happened? A tentative thumbs up? Seriously, what the fuck just happened? I'm really confused. You don't get to just make statements like that. I activated an elevator. I didn't mess with reality. Yeah, whatever. It was it was still a good map. I mean, it was very clever. The fact that they actually had a cutscene at the end is remarkable. I I don't think I've ever seen that before. Hmm. It was a bit of a weird cutscene, but a cutscene nonetheless. Almost like a jump scare. I don't know. Anyway. As always, everyone, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for more of PA's Perpetual Testing. Until then, have a good one.